Okay, children. So today we will do some numericals and there are some questions on sound lesson. Okay. Okay, children. So coming to the sound lesson, some numericals will do, children. First question. Very easy question, children. The human ear can detect the frequency range of children. Human ear can detect the sounds from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz only. Children, our ear, we can listen from 20 to 20,000. Below 20, above 20,000, we can't hear. Below 20 are called infrasonics. Above 20 are called ultrasonics. And this is this frequency is called audible range. This frequency is called audible range. Okay, any sounds our human ear can hear between frequency 20 and 20,000 hertz only. And we are saying speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. Speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. He is asking, find the wavelength corresponding to audible range. Here you find wavelength, here also we find wavelength, he is asking. What is the formula for, for uh, wavelength channel? V is equal to F into lambda. V is equal to F into lambda. Okay, children. So lambda is wavelength. 20 into lambda. Here also. 330 is equal to 20,000 into lambda. Children, frequency into lambda. Okay, velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength. Wavelength, okay? Yes. So wavelength is equal to 330 by 20. And here also wavelength is equal to 330 by 20,000. Okay, 0, 0, 1, children. Lambda is 16.5. Meters here, here 16.5 children. So 16.5 by 1000 children. So this will be 0.0165 meters. So what is the audible range? Wavelength means you have to say 16.5 meters to 0 0.0165 meters. Okay, children. Any sound our human ear can only hear between 20 and 20,000. This is called what, children? Audible range. But we could also do like a Twenty hertz was there, and it was times thousand. So you could divide sixteen point five by thousand. Yes, you can do it. Then. Okay, next one question, children. So the diagram below shows here, children. There is a diagram here. The diagram is there like this, children. See, children. This is one wave like this. One more diagram is there, children. This is one more wave like this. Okay. What they are giving means that here zero, here they are giving zero point zero five. And here they are giving 0 0.10 and here they are giving 0 0.15 like that they are giving. So children, obviously you all know that this is time and this is velocity. This is uh, uh, this is a distance diagram, sorry, distance diagram, okay. Here how they give children, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Okay children, question. Now, see children, graph of wisdom. Velocity is 20 meters per second. In each case, use the graph to calculate frequency and wavelength. In each case, you have to use graph to find the frequency and wavelength. Both you should find the children. Okay, from the graph, from the graph, can anyone say what is the wavelength here? Can anyone say what is the wavelength here from the graph? So 0 0.10. Very good, 0 0.10 because the length of one wave is called wavelength. The length of one wave is called wavelength. So wavelength is 0 0.10 meters. And here what is the wavelength, anyone? Sir, two. two meters. Very good. Okay, children. So the length, see, one the length of one wave is called wavelength. Length of one wave is called wavelength. So what is the frequency he is asking? What is the frequency he is asking? We know V is equal to F lambda. We know V is equal to F lambda. So V is uh, so how much children? For answer. 20 is equal to 0 0.1 into F. Here, how much will take children? 20 is equal to F into 2. Okay. This point 0.1 goes down. F is equal to 20 by 0 0.1. Frequency is how much children here, anyone? 20 by 2. 20 by 2. 20 by 2 means how much children? 10 hertz. 10 hertz. Here, point, if you remove, 1, 0 will come. Here, how much children? 200 hertz. Now, what is the formula for time period? Time period is 1 by frequency. Always remember, time yes. period is 1 by frequency. Children. So, what is time period means? 1 by 200, that is 0 0.5 by 100, that is 0 0.005 seconds. Here, here, what is the time period? 1 by frequency, that is 1 by 10, that is 0 0.1 second. Like this, you can calculate. Children. Easily, you can calculate them. Whatever questions we want, we can do. Next question. Next question. Okay, children. See here. Easy questions, children. Uh, a sound produced on the surface of the lake 
Okay, echo is not there for you. Children, echo is not there. Echo, you know, children, all of you echo. Do you have echo? 2D by team, sir. Yes, do you know echo, children, echo? Yes, sir. We bound, uh, bounce back of sound after echo. Okay, so bat hears the sound after 4.5 seconds. Bat hears the sound, means sir, bat will emit the sound, it will go and come back in 4.5 seconds. Bat will emit the sound, it will go and echo will come after 4.5 seconds. How much time will it take to reach a echo? Okay, this is not bad. Boat. This is a boat. A boat fan. Uh, how much time will it take to the diver inside water at the same distance if the speed of sound is 4.5 times the speed of uh, speed of sound in any way? Okay, children. What well, this is the question? He's asking. See children here. So children, a sound produced on the surface of the lake. Children, boat, this is the lake children, right? Understand? This is the boat, this is the lake. If you produce any sound, it will go and come back in 4.5 seconds. Children. It is taking 4.5 seconds. Okay. So is uh, how much time will it, uh, will it it take to reach diver? Diver is going inside and coming back. And speed of diver is 4.5 times the speed of a, a speed of light in a sound in a children. Okay. Children, all of you children, V echo. Echo formula is V is equal to 2D by T. Echo formula is V is equal to 2D by T. Velocity of diver by velocity of sound in A. So, velocity of diver is 2D by time taken by diver. Time taken by diver. And 2D by time taken by sound in A. 2D, 2D cancel because same, both same speed it will go children. Here this will come, here this will come. So velocity of diver by velocity of air is equal to velocity of sound in air. I'm sorry. Time in air by time of diver. Time in air by time of diver. Okay, children. So velocity of diver, how much they gave? 4.5 times the velocity of light in air. And velocity of light in air is that much only. And time of sound in air is how much children? 4.5. Seconds. He is asking what is the time taken by the diver. Does this cancel? Does this cancel? Time taken by the diver is one second. Time taken by the diver is one second. To go and come back. Time taken by the diver is one second. Okay, children. Okay, children. So this is the uh, okay, children. Already this uh, this question is enough, children. Some more questions will be tomorrow, children. Some more questions tomorrow. Thank you, children.